Settlers first came to the Mescanal area in the late 1890s, starting with its first resident, W.E. Trail. When the community applied to get a post office in 1904, his daughter, Mary, suggested that the small community be called Trail after her father. There was already a town in British Columbia with the name Trail, so they went with the Cree word Mescano, meaning a trail. When Ottawa officially sanctioned the new post office, the name was entered as Mescanaw. Until train service arrived, farmers were isolated from trade and services, with the closest village and grain elevator being 26 kilometers away. In the spring of 1929, construction workers from the CNR built the large east and west embankments using horse-drawn dump wagons, slips, and Fresno scrapers. They had to span the McCloy Creek, and had great difficulty pounding pilings into a solid base with the steam-powered pile drivers. Some piles are believed to go down more than 25 meters, or over 80 feet. By fall of that year, the completed bridge was 1,417 feet long and five stories high, and ready for train traffic. It was, and is, Saskatchewan's longest wooden trestle bridge. The train shipped grain, household and farm goods, and people were able to do day trips to Saskatoon. It changed the lives of local farm families. There were two freight and two passenger trains each day at the Mescanal train station, which opened in 1935. In later years, the roads became suitable for winter travel so trains were used less frequently. Grain trains no longer came to the area, elevators closed, and the last passenger train was a silver single car dayliner. The last freight train crossed the bridge in 1979, and the trestle alongside Highway 41 has stood and used ever since. After being in use for 50 years, it is now another example of Saskatchewan's abandoned history. <laughs>